All right, we got the initial report from bomb and arson. It was a single device, cardboard box in Sherry's office, IED, nails, glass. We're lucky no one was standing closer, Sergeant. Sherry was pronounced in med. She, uh, injuries were too substantial. Two others are in critical condition, but they're both expected to pull through. So a dozen more victims, but as of right now, it looks like Sherry and Betty are only fatalities. That bomb was planted in Sherry's office. She had to be the target. She was getting threats, too. We recovered four emails, all sent from an anonymous email account, bounced around about a half dozen IPs. They're all death threats. Burn, bitch, burn. Your days are numbered. You will burn, that sort of thing. All right, so what do we know about Sherry? She's 26 years old, Northwestern grad. Started working for the station as an intern. Uh, she'd been on the air for two months. Single, well-liked, house with the family. Trying to track the package. Cameras at the entrance of the building only captured a man from behind. It's not much, but given that and what Sherry gave us, I pulled these pod photos. Could be the same guy. If he ditches the jacket and the hat. This guy exits the newsroom at 8.42 AM. Half hour later, a pod picks him up across the street. It's eight minutes after the bombing, and he's still there. Like, he stayed. He matches Sherry's description. Mm. Yeah, but it's not enough for visual recognition. OK, let's release it to the media. It's a person of interest. Set up a tip line. Are we sure that's the plan? We got two pictures of a guy in the vicinity. That's it. That could go wrong a thousand ways if the public has it. I still have Sherry's blood on me. You're asking me it's worth the risk. Someone's going to know who this guy is. Now get on the packs with news affairs. Have them release it. We got something. I interviewed the guard who's working the front desk at the newsroom. Huh? He says everyone has to sign in to get inside. He only remembers one delivery from this morning, and he was on the phone when the guy came in, but he swears he was white and he had a beard. This guy stopped by security before he delivered the bomb? This guy signed his name in the in-out book. Eric Mitchell, he's a uh, journalist at a local entertainment magazine. 35, white, beard. Bring him in. Nice house for a journalist. Yeah. I thought journalism was supposed to be extinct. Well, it depends what kind. Still have a lot of money if you make the news entertainment. Is that Mitchell? Yeah, those are his plates. SUV is Mitchell. So we're going to approach on foot, distract him. You guys come up behind him. Copy. We're moving in now. Looks like he shaved his beard. Eric Mitchell! Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, call it. 5021 Henry, emergency. We have an explosion at 8. You guys good? Yeah, you? Yeah, we got to get him covered up. Ambulance, CFD, bomb and arson. Could be multiple devices. Make sure they block off a two block radius. The entire blast hit him head on. He's gone. Hey. I saw it happen. I was Sir, right over there. I need you to Can step back. Yeah, I know what you want to help, but I, I need you to stand back. Thank you. 